Cambridgeshire. Yeah. Martin's big 19 Phil Hare here live in the studio um, with his guitar. We've got some more mug things coming on here actually. Um, there's a nice one here. Um, did the workforce of the originator of mugs with things written on them mutter that? No, not at all. Thank you very much for a mutter. Well, what have we got now on here? Um, the mug I use all the time is Black with Silver Stars on has the night shift written on it. Sounds familiar? Yes, it does, Em. Thank you very much indeed. Um, Jimmy in Wayborn says, Fave mug, my bottom school centenary mug, which is rather nice as well. You see, mugs are there. And you said that you do have, you, you migrated towards a mug in your I household. Know. I think it's just a force of habit thing, though, isn't it? It is, yeah. But I'll have to start looking. I'll be looking at that now a bit more. Yeah? With a bit more, yeah, a bit more interest in it. Well, I, you know, I mean, Anne says that she's got her favourite mug from 1979, which is really, you know, quite something, because very often you have a bit of a dinner service left, or you might have the odd couple of plates, um, you know, from something that you brought in that time. But well, then you think about the antiques and the china and all that stuff that goes on. 31 years without being smashed, I guess. Yeah, good. which is, it is really, or chipped or anything or chipped, like that, because yeah, it wouldn't be the same yeah. thing. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Lou says, um, my favourite mug reads, the older I get, the better I used to be. There's some good song, song titles here. You probably can write a whole song yeah. on what's written on a mug. I could. Who I knows? Could. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's hear some more live music from you. What are we going to hear this time? I'm going to do a hedge fund shuffle. Hedge fund shuffle. Hedge fund shuffle. Hedge fund shuffle. Yeah. What's all this about, man? Um, well, it goes it goes like the clappers this one. It's yeah. it, it, it focus. It's, it's it's really about when the credit crunch arrived. The um, there was uh, all sorts of blame being thrown about, and this is the guy that sort of slips between the the wires. Mm. The guy that escapes the blame. Right. And, um, so, so people go here. He is live from the studio. <laughs> I'm a slick money movie, you know my name Who remembers quickly the name of the game And off to your destination, just after lunch That's why I'm not a victim of the credit crunch Marty wants a home loan, give me a call I'll raise from Peter and sell it to Paul I could have been the forgerer of Edmark Munch That's why I'm not a victim of the credit crunch People blame bankers like cats and tycoons Greedy financiers with the cocaine spoons They see a government all at sea But they don't even notice me Big town wants a hospital on the BFI Left his public spending never reached the sky I was right to duck from the swing and punch That's why I'm not a victim of the credit crunch Now I'm sipping something slowly in San Diego sun I see the faces twitching, it sure looks like fun I was never part of the accountable bunch That's why I'm not a victim of the credit crunch People will wait for that dust to go down Start spending money all over the town Bailed out by government all but nationalized the people look for a bar with my beady eyes I'm a slick money movie You know my name Moving numbers quickly The name of the game An offshore destination Just after lunch That's why I'm not a victim of the credit crunch Very clever stuff. Phil Hare here live in the studio with his, his clever uh, antidotes and about his world as well. The whole album, um, there's a good 15 tracks on there, which is good for, good value for money, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Well, you would do, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. I'd better pay, I suppose, I will say, does not it? Available from where? Available from the website. Yeah, which is? Which is the usual you know, www.philhare.co.uk. Um, MySpace, yeah. Facebook, yeah. YouTube, and from 101 Records. Well, um, everywhere now. www.101company.com. Um, and hopefully iTunes as well. Yeah. Do you think that, I mean, the way you write and things, it, and there's lots of people uh, of a certain uh, generation that kind of go, oh, actually, yeah, we're fed up now. I mean, it's no wonder that people are buying boats and big campgrounds and going around and just changing their way of life. How have you changed your way of life since, you know, over the last, I think, four years or so, since you've been doing doing more, if you like, and getting more out there? 
Havakim, a way of life. 